before we begin, thank you very much to Pimento for joining the Patreon campaign. Big fan of your loafs, by the way. Uh, thank you very much for the contribution. Thank you for uh, a little bit to help keep the channel going a little bit longer. You guys like it when uh, I give you a heads up on the shout out train if for those who want to keep it going and keep me from ever having a normal intro again. So I will let you know I currently have one shout out left in the tank. Uh, so we'll make it into the new year. But if you really do want to see me go a whole year of shout outs, uh, then we got to make it through the month of January. And there's also a really big reason why this is a really good time to support the channel. We'll talk about that here in a bit. Suffice to say, you could literally change uh, how January goes depending on it. Uh, today we're going to be discussing just general stuff that I want to do in uh, with the channel into the new year. Because uh, it is a great time to kind of refocus, reinvent, and evaluate the kind of stuff that's overdue for a change and one of the things is on the front right now in two different ways actually so the first is the logo now the horn skull isn't going anywhere like i think i'm just stuck with that i'm never going to be able to do anything with it at this point it's always got to be that shape it's always got to be red and it always has to be present and you know what that's fine but i've always wanted to have like an actual logo that said tj omega you know if i i put this on a shirt right which you can get below in, in my little in my little merch shelf down below. Uh, but I don't really have a logo that says TJ Omega. I don't have a logo that incorporates that symbol into like a really cool like streamer style or like sports team style logo that has that on it. Because it's actually kind of difficult to work that into the name TJ Omega and not, you know, look like crap. I have a logo loosely designed but i have not had the time to actually draw it out yet so hopefully this is the year i actually take the time to draw it out i want to do it myself i don't want to go to like fiverr and just pay somebody to like doodle this logo for me because it feels like a waste um but i might go that route um and because i haven't been able to pin the logo down the design that has my name attached to it too I haven't been able to do with the intro what I meant to do, which is like alternate versions. You know, like I really like the spark chamber animation I'm using now, but I use it for every single video. And that wasn't the plan. I was actually going to do multiple animations or get multiple animations done uh, with my logo transforming or appearing in different ways. And then it never really materialized because I couldn't quite nail the look of a full logo that I wanted. So we've been sticking with this for a long time. And I think, you know, this is going to be the time, you know, you know, before we even get out of winter, I want to have fresh animations that I can cycle between. You'll still see this one because I love how the spark chamber animation looks, but there will be alternatives that I can randomly switch between. Uh, just to, just just for the sake of, you know, not having the same old bumper intro every single time. Um, I might also look for, like, music track that'll work for all of them. Don't know if that'll work out, but it's another, it's another thought in my head. Other things in my head, for instance, is time to rework the thumbnails. The thumbnails, I've noticed, have had a lot of weird issues that have been very frustrating for me to deal with, uh, for starters. The font has given me issues in the past, uh, not only because it's a little bit too large, uh, even the word transformers really starts limiting the space I have on the thumbnail. So it needs to be a new font, it needs to have more space, and it needs to have some kind of background color to it so it stands out from any image that I could put in the thumbnail. Uh, so I gotta figure out how all of that is going to get arranged so it's still legible and so that it uh, stands out a lot more. Uh, speaking of standing out more, I would love to redo this so there's like a color border around. A lot of uh, bigger YouTube channels I've seen put a border on their thumbnails to kind of make them stand out from just your stock standard photos or graphics. I like that idea, so I'm, I'm kind of gonna ape that a little bit most likely. I want the thumbnails to actually tell you what the video is going to be when you click on it. You know, I want them color-coded. 
right? So like if you click on a video for TJ Omega and it's a red thumbnail, then expect to see, you know, your standard, let's talk about Transformers content. But if it happens to be blue, then we might, then it's going to be a tokusatsu video. If it's yellow, then it's probably going to be me rewriting a Transformer story, things like that. So I want the thumbnail to inform the type of video you're about to watch, as well as just standing out from all of the other thumbnails I post. Um, I also want the image to be framed because uh, a lot of times in order to get these, you'll see on this Megatron design, there's a lot of ugly white border around it I couldn't remove uh, because this was uh, not on a plain white background. And a lot of things, especially third party stuff or like Hasbro partner stuff, doesn't have stock photos that are just straight white background. And that gets difficult for me to use in a thumbnail. It's also difficult when the toy or subject that I want the thumbnail to be is also white, meaning I can't remove it easily without tracing the entire thing. So I want it framed so I can just use an image and simplify that process a little bit. So make it easier for me to make and make it more informative to you before you click it and make it a little bit more noticeable at the same time. That's the goal with the thumbnails in 2024, and hopefully that won't take too long to implement. It's all, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm always trying to develop it in my head a little bit. But speaking of, I also want the thumbnail to match the layout that you see in the video. I actually, you know, this is a little inception right now, right? I want, uh, I want the thumbnail to feel like, I want, I want the layout to feel like when you click on a thumbnail, that the layout just kind of the, the thumbnail just kind of expanded to become the layout. So I want it to look similar, you know, and I want it to have the same visual identity. That way you feel like you're clicking straight into the content. Um, so that's another goal in mind. So color coded thumbnail, color coded video, right? Uh, it'll all be the same format. It'll all most likely be the same graphics. It's mostly just going to be a color change. You know, it's going to be Mega Man style. You know, if it switch it to green, then expect whatever the green weapon of the day is. So that's kind of where I am with the with the overlay. Also, the overlay does need a bit of a tune up because if you'll notice, the overlay itself uh, is not the frame over here is not 16 by 9. Somehow I screwed up the measurements when I made it, and it actually cuts off the sides of anything that I post at 16 by 9 and makes it a little bit annoying to, to fit in uh, everything that I need to. Uh, so to make sure it doesn't clip anything off that, that I would rather retain, I got to redo the size so it's going to get a little bit narrower, which is going to leave me more space at the top, and I'm thinking of how to fill it without making the screen too busy. Uh, cause you know, I also have extra space below me in these formats. And part of me is like, that's where the logo for that particular episode goes. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm thinking like, where is the socials go? Uh, where do, you know, do I put the social separately? Do I put the Patreon uh, request separately? What, what, what goes where without making it too over encumbered? That's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out the balance to all of that, you know? You know, the slider at the bottom is still going to be there because I do have a lot of things to promote. Uh, but I'm trying to make it so that it's informative without being just like complicated for the eyes. And finding that balance gets a little bit tricky. So you'll you'll excuse me if I play with it and maybe change it up as I get feedback. Uh, but we'll find a happy medium, you know, with, a, you, with your creative feedback and my complete inability to come up with a creative idea of my own uh we will come up with uh we'll come up with something that makes everybody happy all right so that's kind of like how i want to clean up appearance wise let's talk content so first off something i want to do for the 40th anniversary of transformers is i want to do a lot more top tens but they are going to be top 10 toys of insert year here. So obviously I've done these in recent years. I will be doing another one very soon for the top 10 toys of 2023. But I also want to kind of go back in time and do it for all the other years. So, you know, sometime in January, probably not too far off, you will see 
top 10 Transformers of 1984. And then, you know, you'll see 1985, etc., so on and so on, until I have a top 10 for literally every year Transformers has been out, and then a nice little, you know, like nice little playlist for everything. Early 90s is going to get real interesting for that list. But I def it's it's definitely a it's a idea that's been bouncing around in my head for a while now. I don't know if it will depend on how it goes. You know, obviously, you know, we got 52 weeks in the year. Uh, we've got um, probably like 35 or so that I will have to do. Uh, and I guess if I can make it a weekly thing and then intersparse a few standard top tens, I think we might make it a weekly series. You know, so like I don't know what day. You know, if you could like, well, every Thursday is going to be a top 10, like top 10 Thursday or whatever. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, but that's my goal. I want to I want to do a top 10 for every year Transformers was out. Um, we also have to talk about new content. And here's where we have to talk about the Patreon total that I'm at right now. Right now, I thought we would be crossing into January just above a thousand dollars on Patreon. We're actually just like five bucks below that as of this recording. Um, so remember the way my, I, I still have Patreon goals, even though Patreon doesn't let me post goals anymore, which I think is stupid, but the goal is that if I have, a, you know, if my total there is over four digits, then I will be adding cartoon reviews and rushed review to my content feed. So the cartoon reviews, I'm working on one right now that is very TJTV styled, um, it is a beast. It's like literally taken me like two months to write the script. And now I'm formatting it into a shooting script. And that's giving me difficulty. And then trying to figure out how to get the whole thing edited smoothly. That's giving me difficulty. It's a big process. It's much bigger process than it used to be. Because I don't have nearly as much free time as I did when TJTV was a thing. So you'll excuse me if these would be occasional videos. Or if I redo it into a format, maybe slideshow images like this with very few uh, clips or other examples, or something that is loosely scripted rather than like fully scripted, like maybe bullet point it instead of like fully, like fully thought out. I don't know yet, but there are a lot of shows I like to talk about. And I like that it would incentivize me to actually watch a bunch of series that I haven't really given a good chance to. So that's mutually beneficial i think uh so that's one of the main contents that would be added and they would be daily they'd be part of the daily video feed with if and when we hit that mark uh and then uh we would also bring back rush review which kind of scares me to think that it's been over a decade since i made one <laughs> these would be done as youtube shorts they would be focusing on brand new transformers so like in january i'd be doing a few for legacy united I would most likely also send them over to a TikTok account so I can hit that market as well. Uh, I was doing short form videos before TikTok, before YouTube shorts, even before Vine. So call me ahead of the curb, I guess. In this case, though, it would be occasional videos. It would not replace daily content. It would just be whenever I can find the time to come up with like a little cute, rhymy video and then just take the photos it would require to put it together and toss it out. It shouldn't be too time expensive to make. So I'm not terribly worried about that interfering with my daily cycle. Um, it'll just be occasional. It won't be a schedule itself. It'll just be like, oh, hey, here's a YouTube short from TJ Omega. Just every now and then when I feel like it. Uh, so those goals are going to be those Patreon, those are both tied to my Patreon. Remember, if I'm over four digits when we cross the month, then the month afterwards, I will be doing it for those months. So like I, the big cartoon review I'm working on right now, that'll post in January if we're in four digits. I, if, uh, if I have over four digits, I'll be doing rush reviews occasionally throughout the month of January. If I'm below uh, on February 1st, they get cut off. So... If you, want, if you like the content and you want to see it going, that's kind of the incentive to keep the, the Patreon at that level. Which does remind me, yeah, um, let's talk about what the Patreon goals in 2024 need to be. So for starters, um, 
I had no idea it would get this high. Really? Like, I think every time I check on Patreon, I expect it to be like, like 200 bucks. I don't expect it to be in four digits. I almost cried. Legitimately almost cried when I went and checked and noticed that it was four digits. And I, I literally cannot believe that many people are willing to sponsor whatever this clown shoe YouTube show is. But I deeply appreciate everyone who does so. It has meant the world to me to see how much support you guys are willing to put out for me. And I hope I'm putting out enough to be worthy of that. And I want to put out more. You know, I want to do more for Patreon. Um, uh, I want to put out like either funny images or more previews of what I'm working on for that, uh, for, uh, for, my, you know, for even for the lower tier stuff. And I want to be better about getting the requests out. Thank you to the patience some of you have for the requests that you've put in. Some have been waiting for months. You've asked for things that are very tricky for me to find the time to research, but I do appreciate you putting forth the effort and being patient with me. Everyone will get their shout. Everyone will get their uh, rewards. Trust me, uh, that's not going to go away. Uh, I have all the requests saved up. You're all you're all going to get your video. Um, so uh, and then like for the lower levels, like I've got content coming up. I'm going to show previews of. I'd like to just take funny photos that I don't post to socials. You know that only my patrons can see. Either of new stuff that I get, new stuff that I'm working on, etc. Uh, just for just amusing stuff and just play with my photography brain a little bit. So that's the big thing. One thing about Patreon right now, I will admit. Um, so in order to keep the shout out streak going, because you seem to have a lot of fun making me say whatever random shout out you want before a video. Um, in order to get that out, I've had to do a lot more videos day to day, which is not the healthiest way to do it. And it is leading to some production problems. I definitely, I'm considering ending the streak voluntarily if we make it to one year. I'll still do shout outs for all new patrons as they come in. Uh, but I'm not going to be like tapping you to like keep the streak going. I am not going to be, uh. I won't be doing things like that anymore. Instead, I'll just let it grow <clears throat> a little bit more naturally. Hopefully it stays at that high level, even without that incentivizing. Um, but honestly, it's forced my production in a direction uh, and uh, timing that's really difficult. Like right now, I have a video for Yolo Park that I need to do that I'm putting off filming because I don't have enough shout outs right now to include a shout out before the video. Uh, which is not great for my sponsorship relationships, um, you know, but also it's it's good for my relationships with my patrons. So which do I choose? You know, so if we make it to one year, I'll do something big to celebrate. We might do a plastic addict or something really, really big uh, if we make it to February 1st, which is the, the one year mark just to kind of celebrate the shout out streak. Um, but after that, I'm genuinely considering, uh, shutting it down. Cause I'm not some, I'm not a giant YouTube name that gets, you know, 10, 15 new patrons every single week. You know, you know, when the shout out streak ends, you know, I'll get five or six, you know, you know, uh, you know, when the shout outs run low, I'll get five or six. Um, and then it's just dry until the next time it runs low. And then every now and then I get another one here and there. I don't get enough organically. To keep the shout out streak going it is causing a little bit of problem so i'm considering that but i guess that's something that is up to the mercy of all of you watching isn't it so that's basically where i'm where my head is going into 2024 there's a lot of cleanup i want to do i want to i think it's time to freshen up the channel add in a little bit of new content and yeah just kind of liven the place up a little bit but a little bit more visual variety, a little bit more content variety. Uh, and hopefully that's going to go well, because I've got so much that I want to do in 2024, including some really, really big projects. So hopefully you're along for the ride uh, for as long as that goes. And hopefully we make it to June, because June will be celebrating the 1,000th video in the daily streak, if I can make it that far. Uh, but if you there are going to continue to support me, then I'm going to try. I'm going to try and make it all the way to 1,000. 
So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I deeply appreciate it. I really hope you're along for the ride for everything that's coming in 2024 because I want it to be a lot and I want it to be as good as it can be for you guys. So, thank you as always for the support. And as usual, I. Parlay with the captain. You think a werecroc is going to listen to elvish rules of piracy? Of course it would be Got the it. freaking elves cool. that, that invented parlay. I had to think of a quick replacement for the French. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>